Okay. So we'll start with some mobility. So we're gonna go for forward lunges with a um, within uh, arm extension. So you're gonna lunge forward on your right side. And in, while you're in this position, you can drive this bottom knee towards the ground, but don't let it touch it. So you're gonna feel that stretch in the front left um, hip. And then you're gonna take your arms and drive them all the way up. Okay, and then back down, stand up and switch sides. So it should be slow. So you're gonna lunge forward, drive this back knee. So my left leg forward, drive that right knee towards the ground and then drive your arms up and back. <clears throat> When you bring your arms back, lead with your thumbs. Maybe two more on each side. When you're in that lunge position, really push through your heel so that you're not feeling it all in your quad, but you're feeling your glute as well. One more. Good. Now out to side lunges. So nice and low with the side lunges, as low as you can go. So I'm going to start with the right side. You go out to the right and get down as low as you can. Even if you have to rotate this foot outwards. So I'm lunging out and then rotating this foot up so I can get nice and low. Okay. Come back up. Keep the feet wide and then go into the other side. Okay, it's okay if your knee goes over top of your toe. So you want a good stretch in that side that you're extending. Come back up, two more on either side. One more. Good, walk it back up. Inchworms for six. Okay, classic inchworm. Reaching up, bend the hips at the waist and walk it out. Hold it to high plank for two seconds. Okay, and then walk it back up. Okay, you did six of them. Reach. Do two more. One more. Okay, good, we're gonna go back to forward lunge. This time, so you're gonna take a step forward with your right leg. Okay, you're gonna let your left leg drop all the way to the ground. Bring your right elbow towards your right foot, okay? Hold it there, drive this knee out as you're there, and then come up and rotate over the right side, okay? Put the right leg back, left leg forward, bring the right knee down, Okay, and then same thing, bring that left elbow towards the left foot, or as low as you can. If you feel any restrictions, low as you can, and then rotate over the left side. Okay, bring the left leg back, and same thing again on the right side. So the, and then rotate over. Good, and then switch. So I'm putting like my left leg is forward and my right knee is down, 
leg down on the ground. Okay, and then bringing that left elbow as close as I can to that left foot as I'm rotating. All while that back knee's on the ground. So we're really just trying to open up the hips here. And then you're also gonna get a good stretch in that left side. Rotate, and we're gonna do one more each per side. One more, last one. Good. Okay, to move into your hands and knees, we're gonna do hip cars. So, Make sure your hands are right underneath your shoulders, knees are right underneath your hips. Okay, and what you're gonna start with here is hip abduction. So you're bringing the leg out. You're gonna keep this leg bent the whole time. Once you get to your limited, like your max range of motion you can with hip abduction, you're gonna start turning, internally rotating your hips. So you're bringing your knee towards the ground. Okay, and then you're gonna feel like you're gonna have a little bit more range of motion with hip extension, that's totally normal. Okay, and then I want you to hold it there and then bring it back down. So your knee should be bent the whole time. So again, hip abduction. Okay, you're gonna internally rotate, bring the knee towards the ground, keep the knee bent, foot is flat and straight. Squeeze the glute when you get into hip extension. Okay, and bring it back down in, the, in a, a bent position. Do two more of those on the right side, so nice and slow. When you're doing the internal rotation part of the, of the hip car, try to not let, like really try and keep the tension on while you're doing it. Like squeeze all those muscles around your hips while you're doing that internal rotation part. Squeeze the glute and bring it back down. Good, and left side. Okay, hip abduction to start. And bring the knee around, internal rotation. And bring it back down. Hip abduction, make sure that your hips are staying square to the floor. Two. Generate all that tension in and around the hip. Three, one more. Good. Okay, and then last one, you're gonna drop down to your stomach. We're gonna do back flies. So feet can be just down on the floor. They can just be flat, okay? Arms are up to the side in a big T shape. You're gonna pick your head up off the ground slightly so you don't wanna extend. Keep the neck straight. And then you're gonna squeeze the shoulder blades together. Drop the hands just so the fingers touch the ground and back up. Squeeze and back down. We're gonna do 12 of these, nice and slow. Okay? Head off the ground. Arms right up to the side of you. Keep the shoulders down, pick the arms up and squeeze the shoulder blades together. One. Two. Nice and slow. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. As you work through these, make sure your shoulders aren't creeping up. They should be down. Eight. Nine. 
12. Whew, good. Grab some water if you guys need, and we'll go into the warm up. So, you guys are going to start with seal jacks. Um, you're going to go for 30 seconds. There's six, uh, six warm up exercises. So, I'll just remind you of seal jacks. That's when your arms are coming out while your legs are coming out. Okay, and then you're bringing everything back to midline. Okay, so for 30 seconds, I'll time you out. Ready? Three, two, one, go. So out, in, out, in. Everything's coming back to the middle. Good. Three, two, one. Into body weight squats. Okay. Right again, 30 seconds. Remember to force the hips forward as you get to the top, squeezing the glutes. Make sure that you're actually trying to tuck the pelvis under them. You're squeezing the glutes and your low back's not curving at all. You want your back straight. Three, two, one. You guys are going to do fast feet for 30 seconds. So as fast as you can, all in one squat. Ready? Go. So you're bouncing off the toes. Use, use your arms for momentum. Yeah, there we go. Keep going. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Right side plank. You're holding a right side plank for 30 seconds. So on your elbow or on your hand, does it matter? Okay, holding it. Okay, go ahead. Just make sure that elbow or hand's right underneath the shoulder. Ten more seconds. Keep going, but when you guys are done this one, you're going right into mountain climbers. But you got five more seconds. Three, two, one. So go right onto your hands and into mountain climbers. Okay, go ahead. Try and make these ones a little bit quicker for warm up. Okay, but keep the back straight, butt down. Keep going five seconds and then you're going into left side plank. Keep going. Three, two, one. Left side plank now. Flip over to the left side. Okay, you're holding for 30. Ten more seconds. Three, two, and one. Good. Pop back up to your feet. We're going to go through those ones again. So seal jacks, starting at the top for 30 seconds. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Seal jacks. Keep going. Five seconds. Three, two, one. 
body weight squats. Add a pulse in at the bottom though this time. Okay, so you're pulsing and back up. Pulse, back up. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Fast feet. All on one spot. Fast feet. Right into it. Go ahead. Right on those toes. Fast as you can go. Five seconds, three, two, one. Right side plank. Holding for 30. Ready, go. Five seconds and then into mountain climbers. Keep going. Three, two, one. Switch over, mountain climbers. Right into it. Go. Keep going. Guys, we got five more seconds. Three, two, one. Left side plank. Last one here. Keep going. Last 10. Three, two, and one. Good. Grab some water and we'll start the workout. Okay. So there's three circuits. Um, the first, so there's, sorry, there's two different circuits and we're gonna go through them three times. First time you're gonna go through them 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, then 35 on, 15 off, and 30 on, 10 off. So the first circuit we'll go through and then the second circuit and then we'll go through that the three times. So circuit A is gonna start with a squat to rotation. So you're gonna go into a prisoner squat. So you're gonna start with your hands behind your head, okay? We're gonna come down into that prisoner squat, come up and then rotate, rotate and back down. Okay, for 40 seconds. So you're using your core and your legs. Okay, so that's the first one. And then as we go through, I'll just explain the second one, third one, fourth one. So starting with 40 seconds of prisoner squat to rotation. Three, two, one, go. If you find you want more of like a, a little bit smoother, you can go a squat in between each rotation. So squat, rotate, squat, rotate. You're just gonna do twice the amount of work too. So it's a little bit more challenging. Squat, rotate, yeah, exactly. Keep going. Three, two, one, good, rest. Grab the dumbbells if you have them. You go right side lunge, but you're gonna hold your dumbbells out on your shoulders. 
So you're holding your dumbbells out on the shoulders the whole time. So you're gonna lunge out to the side, right lunge, come up, press. Out to the side, come up, press. Okay, 40 seconds, all on one side. Ready, everyone ready? Okay, three, two, one, go. Right side, come up, press. Up, press, yep. Yeah. So you're gonna do it all on one leg. So you should be, your right leg's gonna be going out to the side the whole time. Yeah, when you stand back up, press. There we go, yeah. Press, good. Okay, keep going, less than 10 seconds. Three, two, one, good. Dumbbells can go down, give your shoulders a break before you do the left side. You do push-up to rocker. So you're doing a push-up. Okay, come up and rock back. Come forward, push-up, rock back. Okay, that's the next sequence. So get down, ready? Three, two, one, go. Push-ups for 40 seconds. You feel like you need to drop to your knees at any point? That's fine. And then the rocker part, you're sitting back into your hips. Yeah, exactly. Bend the knees, let the hips come back. Three, two, one, good. Back up to your feet again. Left side lunge with press. So left leg's going out to the side now. You guys got 10 seconds. So get ready. Three, two, one, go. Left leg out to the side. Keep those dumbbells up. Take your breath in as you lunge, as you come back up, breathe out. Breathe out with the press. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one. Good. Dumbbells down. So the next one you're gonna do is high knees, but you're gonna do a rotation with your arms. So what I mean by that is, as you bring your knee up, your right hand's gonna touch your left knee, okay? And then opposite. So you're doing a rotation with your upper body. So when you're doing it quick, it should be touching on opposite sides. Okay, for 40 seconds. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Make it quick, rotate. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, good. Drive those knees up as high as you can. Well done, well done, keep going. Ten seconds. Three. Two and one. Awesome. Okay, we're gonna go into circuit B. So same thing, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, but five new exercises. So the first one's plank to stand or stand to plank. Okay, we've done these ones before, but your hands come down, feet kick out, hold the plank and back up. Squeeze, back down, up, squeeze. Okay, 40 seconds. Ready? Three, two, one, and go. Okay, 
We're going down into that plank. Try and I know it's hard to try and keep your hips down, but when you're going into it, try and keep that plank straight. Straight as a board. Don't let your hips sink up. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Good. Down to bear curl position. Okay, knees are off the ground, hands are right underneath shoulders. This one, we're gonna do the shoulder taps. Okay, so if you feel like you need to move your stationary arm to the more midline of your body so you feel more balanced, that's totally fine. Okay, so knees are off the ground, you're coming up, left arm touches right shoulder, and switch. Core's on, all core. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Knees as close to the ground as possible. Don't let the hips sink up. If you, find, if you find it too hard, you can always widen your stance, like widen your feet in bear curl position. I'll give you a wider base of support and you'll feel more balanced. And then when you're moving those hands as well, try and keep those hips square. Don't let them rock or rotate. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, good. Next one, jump lunges. Options, so you can do jump lunges so that you're jumping one to the other, to the other, okay? If you need a break in between, jump, come up to the center, jump to the other side. Okay, so just taking that quick little hop in between, give you a little bit more of a break. Okay, 40 seconds. Three, two, one, go. There we go, yeah, good. Get your balance, yeah. Nice job. Pushing off on that front leg, on that heel. Less than 10 seconds, keep pushing. Three, two, one. Okay, down on the ground on your back. This is gonna be for your core. So you're laying down, okay? Feet are out in, the, out in front of you. Head's gonna be up. Drop one leg, back up. Drop the other leg, back up. Okay, so low backs on the ground, hands are to the side, and the core's doing all the work. Three, two, one, go. Nice and slow. And think of bringing that heel right to the ground, low as you can go, without your low back coming off the ground. And head should be slightly off, so head shouldn't be laying back. That's gonna help you engage your core more. Three, two, and one. Good, switch over to a plank. You're gonna do a high rainbow plank or hip drops. So you're here, you're gonna pick up your butt, you're gonna scoop over like a big rainbow. So scoop over like a big rainbow, let the hip come towards the ground, pick it up and back over, okay? So it's not as those tiny hip drops we've done before, really, Extend over, so really go into that rainbow shape. 40 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Hips high, yeah, exactly. And then try and bring them close to the ground, close to the ground. Three, two, 
three, two, and one. Nice. Grab some water. We're gonna go into the second round of both the circuits. Okay. So I'll just remind you of the first one, prisoner squat. Okay, coming back up and rotate. Down to prisoner squat and rotate. 35 seconds on, 15 seconds off for this one. So a little bit less work, but shorter rest period. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. Prisoner squat, get down low, pick up. Yeah, and then knee to elbow, remember? So that rotation, come up, knee to elbow, knee to elbow. Think of when you're doing the rotation too. Don't just, ju don't just drive the knee up, bring that elbow towards it. So you're getting that rotation in the core. Yeah, there we go. Good, yep. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, good, grab your dumbbells, 15 seconds. So dumbbells are up at your shoulders, right side lunge, come up, press, okay? You got five seconds, three, two, one, go. Out to the side, up, press. Out to the side, up, press. Right leg should be doing all the work on your lower body portion. Keep going. Five seconds. Three, two, one, nice. Okay, push up to rockers. Okay, so those push-ups into those rockers. You're gonna start in three, two, one, go. Five seconds, three, two, one, good. Left side lunge, grab the weights. Okay, up at your shoulders. You're gonna start in three, two, one, go. All on the left side this time. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Good. Okay, the last exercise in this one, the high knees with rotation, okay? So with this one, try and start with the high knees. So try and get the rhythm and then add in your arms, okay? So it's more quick. Three, two, one, go. Start with those high knees. Add in those arms. Move across. Yeah, there you go. Drive the knees up. Keep going. You got 10 seconds. Three, two, one, good, well done. Okay, moving on to the second circuit, circuit B. Plank to stands, first one. Hand down, feet out. 
back up. All right, ready? Three, two, one, go, 35 seconds. You got 10 more seconds. Five, three, two, one. Bear crawl, shoulder taps. Okay, you got 10 seconds before we start. So get ready. Three, two, one, go. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Flip onto your back. Those switches or those leg drops. Okay. Hands up to the side. Low back on the ground. Don't let it come off. Head off the ground slightly. Three, two, one. Go. Drop the legs. Get ready. Three, two, one, go. High as you can go. Keep going. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Awesome. Grab some water. We're going through those ones one more time. Okay, 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Squat to rotation, so a prisoner, prisoner squat with the rotation. So 30 seconds, go hard. Three, two, one, go. Knee to elbow, bring that elbow towards the knee, trying to let them meet halfway. Five seconds, keep going. Three, two, one, grab your weights. Quick transitions. Dumbbells at the shoulder, all on the right side. Ready, three, two, one, go. Press.
Keep going. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Good. Dumbbells down. Push up to rocker. Get down to the ground. Ready? Three, two, one. 30 seconds. Go. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Dumbbells again. Left lunge. Three, two, one. Dumbbells at the shoulders. Go. Left side out. Press. Well then keep going. Three, two, one. Good. Dumbbells down. High knees with knees with um, rotation. Ready? Three, two, one. High knees. Thirty seconds with rotation. Hands to the other side. As you can get them. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Nice. Take a breather. Grab some water if you need. Okay. And then circuit B for a second or for a third time through. 30 on, 10 off. Five exercises. Ready? Plank to stands, that's your first one. Start in five seconds. Three, two, one, go. Hands down, feet up. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Bear crawl, shoulder press, shoulder touch, sorry. Okay, down on the ground, get ready. Three, two, one, go. Make sure, all, make sure all your weight is going through that forearm. Your forearm's not right in front of you. It's right below you. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Good, up to your feet, ju uh, jump lunges. Three exercises left. Ready, three, two, one, go. Push through that front leg, squeeze the glute as you pop up. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Good, down to the ground on your back. Leg switches. Arms out, head off the ground, dropping the legs. Three, Two, one, go. Good. 
Control the leg the whole time. Don't just let it drop. Be aware of what your core is doing. Five seconds, three, two, one. On your elbows, rainbow plank. Last one of the circuit, ready? Three, two, one, go. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Awesome. Grab some water. And I got one more finisher part for you guys. So, There's gonna be um, there's gonna be two uh, there's gonna be four different exercises. You're gonna superset them, so you're gonna go for 20 seconds each. I'll say switch, and you're gonna do for two minutes, so three times through. First one's jumping jacks. Okay, straightforward. 20 seconds jumping jacks. When I say switch, you're doing plank up downs. So you're starting on your hands. Okay, down and back up. Okay, for 20 seconds. So you're just flipping between those two for two minutes. So start with jumping jacks. Okay. Starting five here. Four, three, two, one, go. 20 seconds of jumping jacks. And when I say switch, you go right down to the ground, those plank up downs. Three, two, switch, plank up downs, right into it. Switch up your arms of what you're pressing with, just trying to be aware of that. If you're not just favoring one side. Three, two, Switch back into your feet, jumping jacks. Keep going. Three, two, switch down to the floor. Three, two, switch, up to your feet. You got 40 more seconds. Three, two, switch, last one. Keep going, I know these are burning. Three, two, one, good. Grab a drink of water. And we got one more of those with two different exercises and then we're done. Okay, first one's burpees. Okay, burpees. Second one's bodyweight squat. So burpee, no push up with the burpee, but you still gotta do the jump. So that's what you're starting with for 20 seconds. These are the last two. Okay, ready? 20 seconds of burpees. Three, two, one, go.
three, two, switch, body weight squats. You can do this a little bit quicker, but you can also use this as a recovery time from the burpees. Nice and slow or quick, whatever you like. Get ready, three, two, switch, burpees. Three, two, switch, squats. Take a couple deep breaths in, through the nose, out through the mouth. Get ready, last round of burpees. Three, two, switch, go. Burpees. Three, two, switch. Body weight squat, slow it down. Last 20. Slow down your breathing if you need. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Three, two, and one. Awesome, grab some water and we'll cool it down. Okay. Let's start with just stationary hamstring swings. Okay, right foot forward, heel down, toes up, sweep through. Nice and slow, get a good stretch to the hammies. Do one more each on either side. Good. Reach for your toes. So legs are straight, bend at the waist, and just reach for the toes, reach to the ground. Let your head hang, shoulders hang. Get a good stretch to your calf, hamstrings, low back. Okay, and then walk it up one vertebra at a time. So you're bent over, curl yourself up, and then stand straight up. Okay, good. Come down to the ground into adductor rock. So keep on left knee, right leg out to the side. Hands are right now in front of you. Okay, you're gonna rock back, sit on top of that left heel, and then rock yourself forward. Move your right leg so that you're feeling that stretch in your adductors, your groin, the inside of your leg. Okay, and rock yourself forward. You can move your, move your toes around. So if you wanna point them up, you'll feel a different stretch than if you keep them pointed forward. So just play around with it a little bit. Good, and then bring right knee down, left leg will go out. Okay, same thing, rock back on that right heel and then rock forward. Let's do two more. One. And two, good. Okay, let's go into figure four. So on your back, right leg goes over left, or sorry, right, yeah, right ankle goes over left knee. Grab behind that left knee, and then pull that back towards your chest. 
try and keep that low back on the ground. If you feel like you need more of a stretch here, you can also put your right hand on your right knee and then push your knee forward. You'll feel more of a stretch in your glutes. Hold it here for a couple more seconds. Okay, and switch sides, left ankle goes on right knee. Hands behind that right knee, pull it back. Okay, good. Stack your knees. So turn onto your side. Stack your knees. We're going to do those windmills. Okay, so hands are out in front of you. Make sure you have enough room um, above your head. Okay, palms together, hands together. I'm laying on my left side, so my right arm, I'm going to bring over top of my head, leading with my thumb. As soon as I get to over top of my head, palm switches, faces up, and then drop that arm on the other side of your body, making a T-shape with your arms and your torso. And then sweep back by your hip, bringing palm facing down. Okay, we'll do four of these on each side. Good stretch in the pecs. Two. Three. Last one. You can turn your whole body, like your upper body, to get a good stretch through your pecs, but just try and keep that bottom shoulder pinned on the ground. Don't let it come up. Four. Good. Switch sides. Palms together. Okay, reach up. Over. Let that arm fall. And sweep back the hip. Two. Two more. And one more. Four. Good. Okay, come back up onto your hands and knees. So let's go into cat camel. So around your upper spine, upper back. Okay, and then drop that. Arch your lower back, bring the chin up. Feel a stretch through the core. Okay, back up. Arch the back, bring the chin up. We'll do one more of each. Okay. With this position, think of pushing your hands together, separating the shoulder blade, push them apart from one another. So you really get that curve in your spine. Okay, and then low back, arch the low back, bring the chin up. Good, just come back into a neutral position. And then you're gonna drop down, we'll just finish up with child's pose. So drop down to your heels, walk your hands out, and then let your head drop in between your shoulders. Just hold it here. Feel that stretch in your lats. Okay, and then move it up to the left side. Same child's pose stretch, just out to the left side.
And then over to the right. I'll just uh, unmute you guys here. Um.